Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to show you how to use our three different uh, interactive button types that we now have on list items. The first being our standard delete button for an entire list, the ability to reorder lists, and then also our swipeable buttons that are now available for the list items. So let's dive into that and create a new project here, and we're going to call this list item buttons. I'm just going to use a blank project type for that. And give it a second here. And the first thing we are going to do is go over and change our header color here because we're going to be doing some buttons and headers for this tutorial as well. All right, so let's drag over a single list item. Okay, and then I want this to be full width. So we're going to go to the page, toggle off padding so we can get a full width list item. Now, we want to start off, start off though, since we're doing delete and reordering, I want this list item to be repeated dynamically. So we are going to open our code here, and I am going to copy over an object I already have set up called scope.items. And scope.items is just a list of objects where each object has an ID, the numbers one through five. So really easy object to get set up here. We are going to save that. Then back on the item here, we're going to add an Angular directive, ng repeat for item in items. And we're going to change the text content to be item and then item.id. So if I preview this, we're going to see five different list items show up taken directly from our data. Now, if we go to the overall list component in the left here, so not list item, but the list component, you're going to see our button section here, which has delete and reorder. Now these are interesting properties because since a delete or reorder button is shown for an entire list, they're managed here via a variable on whether or not they're shown. So we're going to go back down to our code and do scope.showDelete equals false and scope.showReorder equals false. Okay, and then we're going to also want to have a little toggle function here that we can use uh, for the header buttons to toggle whether or not these are true or false. So let's just set up called something scope.toggle equals function v. And we're just going to do scope v equals the opposite of whatever scope v currently is. So we're going to be able to pass in any scope title here essentially, and it's just going to reverse true or false. So this gives us one really easy function to toggle both the delete and reorder buttons. So now we're going to go and we're going to select the entire page, okay, and we're going to use a left header button icon, minus for iOS here, okay, there we go. And then for the right header, we're going to enable that, and I'm going to actually just use text and call this one reorder. Now, that's all fine and dandy, nothing's going to happen unless I hook these up. So, what we want to do is add two different directives to this page. We want an ng click toggle the string show delete and we are also going to want an ng click toggle the string show reorder now these haven't been put anywhere they're actually on the entire page right now so we're going to want to click this button here next to each one and we're going to put the delete one on our first left delete button here and we're going to put the reorder one on the button that is on the right side in our html here so now that those directives are both set up we should be able to preview this and automatically see a delete button, I did something wrong. Oh, we actually didn't put the variable names in the settings here. So we're back in that list item, okay? And we're gonna do show delete here and show reorder here. And this is just straight from these variable names and scope. So we're just telling, you're going to show the delete button based on show delete, you're going to show the reorder button based on show reorder, both from our scope variables. So we kind of did three things here. Show delete in our code, show reorder in our code, a toggle function. We put those in the list item, okay? And then on the page, we set up buttons that toggle each of those variables. Okay, so we did a couple things there. So now when I preview, we're gonna see this and it's gonna show our delete buttons. Okay, we can click it and toggle them off. And our reorder is gonna show our reorder buttons built in. And that's because we're toggling that variable on and off with those buttons. Now, we wanna make those actually do something. So let's go back into our code here and we're gonna do scope.delete equals, let's see, for delete, let's just pass in the item. And scope.reorder, 
is actually going to take the item, the from index, and the to index. So for delete, we're going to, let's see, we're just going to, I'm going to copy over some code here. We are going to do a splice on the item. So scope.items.splice, the index where this item exists, only delete one thing. So that's our very simple delete function. For reorder, I am going to copy in some code here that is actually going to splice it away from the old index and then put it back into the new location. Now this code's super simple. Uh, I'm gonna put it on github.usecreator.com, but um, this is also just the straight up list item tutorial from Ionic Frameworks documentation that we're going through right now. So this is really easy code here. All we're doing is splicing some things around, okay? Now, the only thing is we need to set up this delete and reorder code. And we're not actually going to set that up on the overall list, even though that's where the delete and reorder buttons are managed. It is actually part of the list item because each item is in charge of deleting or reordering itself. Okay, so if we go down to directives here for this individual list item, we can do an ng click delete item, and we can also add an ng click, or nope, this is actually not ng click. We're going to get to that one in just a second, sorry. So let's do ng click delete item, and we're going to move that to our ion delete button that is newly cre created. Now this is created because we already set something on the list item. So we're gonna save and close that. Now, the next directive is actually a special event made specifically for reordering. So that's on dash reorder. And that is going to be reorder, our function name that we used from over here, okay? Reorder the item, dollar from index, dollar to index, and we are going to move that towards our ion reorder button and save and close that as well. So in order to actually rig up the delete and reorder functionality, we did two things. Added the functions to our scope to manage what happens when you click delete or reorder. And then we also added an ng click for delete and an on reorder for reorder to the list item. So let's preview this and see if this works. So we're going to click this button. I'm gonna delete item three. As you can see, it disappears. We can toggle that back off reorder and we're gonna drag item five up to the top. Now it's up at the top. We can drag one above that. We can drag two above that. We can keep going and reordering these list items. So I know it took a little bit of code to set up. And like I said, this code will be on github.usecreator.com, but that's deleting and reordering for an entire list for our special delete and reorder button types. Now list items also have a third option available to them now, which is swipe buttons. Swipe buttons are also managed on a list item component basis. Okay, so these are a little bit easier. You can just add a swipe button. And for this one, let's do share. And we can switch this over to balance. So it's gonna appear as green. And then let's make a share function. So scope.share equals function item. And let's just do an alert method for I, or, uh, share item plus item.id, okay? And so that share balanced, we're gonna add yet again another directive, ng-click share item. And we are gonna use this little button again to move it towards our ion option button, class button balanced share button that we just created. Save and close that. And now when we preview those changes, we see that you can swipe this open on any one of your items. Okay, so we're gonna open this one, share it, and we get an alert for share item three. All right, so I know that was kind of a lot of information all at once, but that's how to use delete, reorder, and swipe buttons all in list items and all set up to actually have directive handlers that are set to the correct elements. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one.